Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Blackwell Deception. It's your boy Kyle with Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. Let's explore this elderly home, shall we? I'm not here to watch TV. You're not? I was. And do what with it exactly? Whatever you want. They don't look like the kind that open. Does this belong to anybody? Nobody I know. Help yourself. Got him. What else you got? An old man. He's just staring out the window. Hello? Can you hear me? Nothing. Damn, ignored the fuck out of you. Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's you. Well, thanks for your time, Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Stop by any time. Oh, so we're done here. Okay. Let's leave. Joe? Joey? Joey. Joey, is that you? Huh? No fucking Are way. You talking to me? Hello? Anybody there? Joey. Yeah, that's my name. Do I know you? Huh. I'm afraid he does that sometimes. Talks to people who aren't there, or perhaps they are. He sees the world through different eyes. I bet you oh, do for too. Crying out loud! Shut up, Joey. Why? Why did you do it? Whoa. Are you? No, not you. Get the elevator, Red. We're leaving. Joey. You really want to have this conversation here? Get the damn elevator. I need to Somebody know more about this. Me? What? Who was that guy? Maybe nobody. Maybe somebody. I don't know. You don't know. No, I don't. Liar. If there's something to say, I'll say it. Say it then. Until then, we got a spook to sort. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Um, let's see. Let's move on back to the Haynes. Oh, you again. I told you, there is no reason for you to be here. I spoke to your mother-in-law. You spoke to Penelope. Sure did. Yes. I told you not to speak to her. I didn't care. No, you said you wouldn't tell me where to find her. I found her anyway. Hmm, clever girl. And what did she tell you? She doesn't think much of you, that's for sure. <sighs> Come in, shut the door. <coughs> Let me tell you something about my mother-in-law. She's rich and she's needy. People like her are easy prey for people like him. People like who? People like Gavin. Gavin? What did this Gavin do? He brainwashed her is what he did. He made her hate us. He told her we were phony and superficial. Okay, we're well off. I can't deny that. But the thing she said? She changed her will. Can you believe that? Left everything to Gavin. Even my husband couldn't look at her anymore. So, we sent her away. Huh. How much are we talking? Was it a lot of money? Who cares about the money? The money isn't the point. She turned her back on her family, her son, her new grandchild, just because some cult leader told her to. You stick by your family, that's just what you do. So you put Penelope into a nursing home after she changed her will? I know, I know, we're horrible, ungrateful people. Don't think we don't feel guilty about it. But she was impossible to live with, and we have a son to raise. I even gave her a key and I told her she could visit whenever she liked. Not that she would. She denies we ever gave it to her, even though it's lying in her room for everyone to see. Well, I better get going. Goodbye, then. I don't know why you said that last bit. <laughs> oh, no. You relax. Damn, baby. Is there anything else I want to do here? What do you want me to do? Maybe. What am I supposed to do? Pretty generic stuff. Not bad. I don't know if I like the way you, uh... Carried yourself in that nursing home, Joey. I'm not sure. What's that? Magazines. Glossy women. That wouldn't kick her out of bed, but only if she lost the attitude. So. Oh. Not much I can do in there. We tried, though. Let's 
Let's see if we can get some more information out of you, Penelope. Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's you. It's always me. I spoke to Madison about you. Oh, I'd advise against that. Five minutes in her presence will kill a year of your spiritual growth. Did you really cut your family out of your will? Sure I did. What of it? They have everything they need. I'm giving it to a much worthy cause. The work must continue. I can make sure it does. The work. Madison doesn't seem all that bad. You never lived with her. For years I lived under a cloud, only I never knew it. The clouds have parted and I see. See what? Uh. My purpose. I never had one before. She couldn't see that. She did everything she could to destroy it. She even took my peridot. Peridot? Peridot. A stone. Gavin gave it to me. It promotes spiritual growth. She took it before sending me here. Like it will do her any good. Can't you get another one? This one was given to me by Gavin. It has special energy inside. It's irreplaceable. Stop going on with your right arm, fam. I can get the peridot for you. I could you. get your peridot for you. You would do that? You'd brave that nest of vipers and retrieve it for me? Yeah. It's hardly a nest of vipers. That's because you can't see. But if you get it for me, let's just say that helping others is the key to helping yourself. I'd like to help myself to some earplugs. This Gavin, who is he? Gavin is the one who opened my eyes. You make him sound like a prophet. Far from it. He's just a man who had his eyes opened, and he helps others do the same. He was just a signpost on my spiritual journey. More like the exit ramp to your personal loony bin. I'd like to meet Gavin. You? No. No, I don't believe you're sincere. That reporter, Jeremy. I sent him on his way to Gavin, and it just upset things. Huh. It upset someone, all right. Upset them enough to kill. Perhaps he wasn't ready. Perhaps he remained closed-minded. Perhaps I should have seen that. Either way, you must find your way to Gavin yourself. Unless you can prove your sincerity. Prove my sincerity? How do I do that? Promote your own spiritual growth. If you don't do that, your eyes will remain forever closed. Spiritual growth. I'm the only spirit around here, and it's never done me any good. Madison told me she gave you a key to her apartment. A key? No, she didn't. She told me she did. Well, she's lying. She hates me, so she wouldn't give me anything. You understand? I'm not sure I do. That's all right. Maybe you're not supposed to. The fuck? All well, right. thanks for your time, Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Stop by any time. This is awkward. Let's see, can I somehow get into her room? Hmm. Hi again. Hello. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. Chart. Excuse me, can I help you? Oh, sorry. Uh, never mind. Looks like a cleaning rotation chart. The handwriting is awful, but it looks like Penelope Haynes is due to have her room cleaned today. Room 12G, to be precise. 12G. All right. Got it. A ball of yarn that somebody left in the nursing home common room. It's a brochure for the Seagram nursing home. It's got a big hole punched in it. I guess for hanging on hooks. Twelfth floor it is, baby. Is this G? There's a note on this door. Dear Penelope Haynes, your room has been scheduled for cleaning this afternoon. Should you have any specific needs or requirements, please don't hesitate to contact the duty nurse at the front desk. Seagram staff. Alright. So, um, Joey, do you mind? There's a label attached to it. It says Madison and Scott. I guess it's a key to the apartment uptown. So why would she it's lie? It's just on the edge of the chair. 
I can't pick that key up. Don't tell me you can blow this one away. You can. Damn Bollocks. It. I don't know why I did that. The key isn't going anywhere now. Are you sure? What happened? Are we stuck? Hold on, hold on. We ain't licked yet. There's gotta be some way to fix this. Nothing but junk on these shelves. A locked door. An impenetrable barrier for most people, but not for me. Not bad. Don't know why they bother with alarm clocks here. What do they need to get up for? It's clean as a whistle and neat as a pin. I guess this place has maid service. So what happens if I try to do it again? No good. The rug's too thick and the key's too heavy. Hmm. Interesting. Where does that leave me? It's clean as a... Nope. Still a ghost. <laughs> Uh, open the window. Crack the window. Do something, bro. Unless... Not sure what blow... You don't know. Hmm. Ah, maybe. Listen. Maybe if I do something like this. Fuck you, mother... I can't do anything. Listen, fam, please. Hmm. Hmm. A ball you, of yarn. Are you sure you can't do anything with this? What's the matter with you, dude? Use it. The fuck? Unless. Hmm. Let's see if this works. You cheeky bastard. Oh, come on. Okay, so then we move on over to Joey. Blow on... I don't know. The key is blocking it. There's got to be a better way to do this. She's got the yarn. She can pull it back herself. Do you think she can do that? Uh... No, uh, I can't do anything. Do it again. Okay, and then move on over to you. The key is blocking it. There's got to be a better way to do Damn. this. Have I fucked myself? Is this Lucas Arts Games? She's got the yarn. She can pull it back herself. Hmm. I think I might have fucked myself here, bro. Not sure what I can say. Hi again. Hello. I was just up in Penelope's room. Hmm. Someone should have been up there already. I'll send someone up. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. Okay. So. Perhaps this is enough. Ah, reset the puzzle. Sweet. That's a bit, you know. Wait. More? She's got. I can't do anything. But. I can't believe we just did this. When you're saving souls, sometimes you gotta rob a few old ladies. Holy shit. Okay, so... Let's leave. Blow this joint. Hmm... Can we leave? So how do we... Oh, you again. Hi. Come in, shut the door. <laughs> what? Penelope mentioned a Peridot stone. Oh, that thing. She wore it constantly, believed it contained some spiritual powers or something. I should throw it away. Can I have the Peridot stone? Why? Penelope would like it back. Absolutely not! That trinket just made the problem worse for her. The next time I think of it, I'm just going to throw it away. 
Are you sure I can't take the Peridot off your hands? I think Penelope would really appreciate it. Did you hear what I told you? I said no. Hmm. All right. Well, I better get going. Listen, I appreciate what you're doing, but please don't bother us again. We're embarrassed enough by this as it is. I'll do my best. I expect more than that. If any of this shows up in the paper, we'll deny everything. You got that? Now, Chris and I are meeting my husband for dinner, so if you'll let yourself out. Right, sure. So what? Joey? Oh. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Send Joey in first. Not sure what I... Looks like a third... Hmm. The numbers on this gizmo went down a bit. What it does now that says mean? 62 degrees. Not sure what the point of that was. What? Can't do any... I've always wondered what kind of people collected these things. Cheap plan. So... No, 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 oh, no way! Pam, click on the door. Let yourself in. Doesn't look like... Let's be quick about this. Got it. Sweet. What else? There's nothing useful in there. I'm saying maybe we should wait until he's older. I know. It's just been so long since we've gone out. We don't have to go to Le Cirque, you know. I know. One day he'll learn how to behave. One day. Look, I'll go make something for us to eat. You let him run around until he gets tired. Then we'll have the evening to ourselves. It's a date. Well, crud. Immediately, fam. Locked. What, you kidding me? This is hardly. I'm not that desperate. What? Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. No, you don't. Cram to bursting. Yeah, great. Come out here. I'll go scope things out. Just hang tight. Hmm. I'm blowing this again. Hmm. The numbers on this. It now says. Hmm. You know, Chris, I think it's getting a little hot in here. What do you think? Should we open a door? Yeah, I think so too. That's what it does then. Alright. Okay. Now we grab the baby's attention. Sup, baby? So, kid, what's the skinny? <sighs> Chris? Where are you going, you little monster? And now... We make our exit. At this motherfucker gone, baby! Cool! I don't know why she would lie to us though about the key. Yo, guess what I got? Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's you. Prove my sense. Promote your- if you well, oh, it's. I got your Peridot stone back. Is this it? Yes, that's mine, all right. You actually went into that place and took it? Bested er, the vipers. Yes. Imagine that. I thought you were just humoring me. Mm hmm. So, about Gavin? Oh, that's right. You wanted to see him. Well, I'm not sure you are ready, but I can certainly put you on the path. The one you seek is named Lisa Tenzin. Lisa who is Lisa Tenzin? Tenzin? She's a healer. She is the one who introduced me to Gavin. I sent your friend Jeremy to her as well. I see. So uh -huh. where can I find her? Her office is in Midtown. Here's the address. Thanks. Well, thanks for your time, Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Stop by any time. Also, guess what I got? Is this the key to Madison's apartment? I wouldn't know, would I? She never gave me a key, so I wouldn't know what it looked like. Denial. Jesus. I wonder.
Lisa. Oh, what? A street psychic, huh? Keep on your toes. This could get messy. I think I can handle a psychic. I am one after all. Just be careful is all I'm saying. Should psychics really advertise themselves like this? Maybe I've been going about this the wrong way. I can't see inside. It's the door buzzer. Yo, you wanna nip inside? I'll just use the door. Why? I need to- Ooh, this is nah. No, this is some hereditary shit. I don't wanna be here. Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. I mean... Skull? No. It's the way out. Full of pseudo-mystic junk. It does nothing for me. You sure? Wouldn't want to read him, even if I could. Wouldn't want to read him. Huh, <laughs> classy. Huh, <laughs> classy. No idea who that is. Isn't she the lady who foretold? The Leads to a back room. Future? Okay, let's see. Let's use the buzzer like a normal person. Yes? Hi, is this Lisa Tenzin? That's me. Penelope Haynes gave me your address. I was hoping I could talk to you. Penny sent you. Of course. Come on in. Penny. Y'all tight like that? Please, sit. So, what can I do to help? I would like to, you know what, whatever. I'm Rosangela Blackwell. A pleasure. I'm Lisa Tenzin. You said Penny recommended me. Yes. Yes, I was hoping to talk to you. I am here to help. I would like to meet Gavin. What exactly do you do here? I work with life energy mostly. Positive energy keeps your spirit alive and healthy, while negative energy blocks it. And that's important? Think of it like exercise for the soul. Just like maintaining a healthy body, you also need to maintain a healthy spirit. Healthy spirit, right. If I was healthy, I wouldn't be dead, would I? How does it work? Through meditation. That's something I can offer you. Me? Do you think I need it? I can tell that your spirit is weak and could use my services. My spirit is weak? How? Something is blocking it. It can't function and flow like it normally would. What would cause that? In your case, I'd say it was a recent tragedy. Something happened to you recently, didn't it? Something that affected you deeply? Hmm. My aunt died a few years ago. And you were close? I can tell. She kind of raised me. For a while, anyway. Say no more. Being confronted with death, any death, makes you confront your own mortality. If you aren't careful, it can generate negative energy that damages the spirit. You aren't buying this crap, are you? But if you like, I can help you get better. So how can you help me get better? Your blockage is strong, but not insurmountable. I can meditate tonight on the problem. That way, the best course of action will be revealed to me. If I asked you to do this for me, what then? It takes a great deal of spiritual energy to meditate on this kind of problem. I need to light a special candle in order to replenish it. So I will need to charge you $200 for the service. Then we can create an energy work plan. I bet <laughs> you would. And you doubted her sincerity. I am going to have to think about this. Of course, there is no hurry. Did a Jeremy Sams come to see you? I wouldn't tell you one way or the other. Why like not? Like any healer, I believe in confidentiality. Healer. Do you know anything about the High Line? I know nothing more than anybody else, I'm sure. Could you tell me why Penelope came to see you? I'm afraid not. Our sessions are private. Could you tell me about Gavin? Penelope said you introduced her to him. Those sessions were supposed to be private. Even still, I would like to meet him. The spiritual process must not be rushed. Penny was ready and needed to take the next step. But you, you will need several months of sessions before you can even begin that journey. Thanks. <laughs> it is not a judgment. It is what you are. Are you sure you can't tell me about Gavin? I think it could be very important. Be that as it may, I have said all I will say on the matter. How about a thousand dollars? How about that? Jeremy is dead. I'm sorry to hear that. A death often brings us in contact with our own mortality. No, it's not that. There's no confidentiality if he's dead, right? There are other worlds than these, Miss Blackwell. Yeah, we know. 
Are you sure a Jeremy Sams didn't come to see you? As I said, I'm afraid I can't tell you that. Like any healer. But he's dead, bro. But he's dead. Thanks for listening, Lisa. I'll get back to you about fixing my problem. Of course. Have a good night. Hmm. What did I tell you? A blocked aura. Do I really have a blocked aura? How would I know? For that matter, how would she? Because maybe she's a real psychic. I'm pretty sure they exist. I am living proof. I don't know anything about auras, sweetheart, but I know a phony when I see one. And that woman in there? A bona fide phony. So what am I then? Beats the hell out of me. Hmm. This relationship right I here? I have a question, Joey. What's going on? Legit psychic or not, that neon sign is so tacky. Says the girl with the lava lamp in her bedroom. What's wrong with lava lamps? If you have to ask the question, you already know the answer. Old man. About that guy in the nursing home. He's nobody, sweetheart. Absolutely nobody. You didn't act like he was nobody. Look, he's not a spook, so he's not our problem. And when he dies? I said, he's not our problem. So drop it. I just can't do that, Joey. So what's your take on Jeremy? My take? He seems like a nice enough kid. Keeps his cards close to his chest, though. What do you mean? You know spook. Yeah, they we heard this right. already. Yeah. How about we pay a visit to, um, Jeremy himself? Jeremy's notebook mentioned a contact that he followed up with. I think he meant Lisa. Did he say anything else? Maybe I should check it again. Hmm. That's all for now. Yeah. Nope, that's not it, is it? I got it? these big long- Aha! His phone, you say? Could we do that? Can we give him a call? You motherfucker! Hi, you've reached Jeremy Sams. Please leave a message. That's one hell of a battery life on that motherfucker, too. God, that's disgusting. Is Jeremy's phone really under all that? Only one way to find out. You gonna help or what? Being dead means I don't have to pick through garbage. It's one of the perks. Right. Found it. Jeremy better appreciate this. So, should we go on over to Joe, uh, Jeremy then? Or should we confront her about it? Locked. Oh, well. Hey, Joey? What's going on? No, wait, go back. So now I've- I'm not sure what that proves. It proves he was at Lisa's. Maybe that's enough. You think that's so? That's all- Yeah. Let's go see Jeremy real quick then. Come on in. Oh. Yo. Hi, Rosa. Make, Make yourself, yourself at home. home. Yo, Jer. We've met Penelope. Well, you found her? How's she doing? She's... interesting. Interesting's the word. I could only understand half of that crap she spouted. Yeah, she's a bit out there. She thinks she's found something meaningful. Has she? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. I met Lisa Tenzin. Lisa? That's right. Lisa. I almost forgot all about her. I only just met her. I met her through Penelope, like you. Crazy, isn't it? Who knew how big this was? That's why we need to break it wide open, you see? Not yet. I don't. No. Come on, Rosa. You see them on every street corner. These phony psychics. These rip-off artists. They say they can see auras or even talk to the dead. Imagine that. But it's all a lie. Everyone knows that. Or do we? Why do people keep going to these places? There's something beyond this. Something incredible. I'm, I'm so close. Listen, dude. Guess what I found. Jeremy, I've got something to show you. But before I do, could I see your phone? What, this? Yes. Now take a look here. I don't get it. You've got the same phone as me? No, Jeremy. It's your phone. No, it's not. I've got mine right here. I called you, remember? 
I don't know how you did that, but that's not your phone. This is. You lost it outside of Lisa's. It was in the trash can. That's, that's impossible. impossible. I called it. It rang. It's yours. I... I... No. No, no this, this, this is a trick. trick. Jeremy. No! no. Just, Just when I'm getting close. close. You're what trying to confuse, confuse me. me. You're trying to make me forget. What? Forget, forget my, my appointment. appointment. Appointment? Yes, at the High Line. I'm meeting with someone who will explain everything. I'm going. Don't try and stop me. Maybe the killer, but he would be long gone. Fam, listen. Now's your chance. We don't need to look around anymore. Oh. We pretty much cracked this one. Come on! You don't know that. Maybe I missed something in here? I don't know. But listen. High Line. Blink, motherfucker! Jeremy? I was here. This is me. I was standing right there. Then I heard... a pop? You got shot. And then... Then I was calling you with a phone that couldn't exist. How did you do Somehow, that? Somehow, I just knew you were the one who could help me. Like I said, it's what we do. Could you tell us who you were meeting here? I was meeting a man named Gavin. Lisa arranged it. I've heard stories. People change around him. They destroy their lives, sometimes even die. Die like I died. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's okay. I don't know why, but I feel good. Relieved, even. You'll find him, won't you? You can take over? I'll take You'll over. You'll find him, Jeremy. This won't happen to anybody else. Thank you. I'm ready. Damn. All right, then. If it's like that, it's like that. Hold this tight. Jeremy, it's time. This is incredible. All this time, I never imagined. This is your life now. This is my life now. Not quite the village I, is it? Beats writing book reviews. Um, so I guess I should just... Do your thing. Yeah, the light. Just go through it? Just go through it. Rest in peace, Jeremy. Well... He's gone. You okay? Sure. Nothing an entire bottle of wine won't fix. Or well, two. You know what they say. Bacchus knows best. So, I guess uh, we're going home. Is that it? I don't have time to do And if I need to use the internet... I have a question, Joey. What is it this time? So now I've got Jeremy's phone. I'm not sure what that proves. It proves he was at Lisa's. Maybe that's enough. The case continues. That's all for now. Yeah. Okay. Shit. I think we're gonna have to deal with this starting from next episode. Until then, this has been your boy Cargo Gaming. I'm out of here. Love y'all. And deuces.